Hey guys, been a little while, but um, yeah, I figured I should get some stuff done. So um, I hear in the comments, you can tell, <laughs> um, she needs a good cleaning, so it's not difficult to do cleaning, so I'm gonna clean her up. Like, it's pretty grungy inside, like it's got just like coffee stains and stuff all over the center console and all the vents are just covered in crap, so I'm gonna clean her up, make her real nice. So first I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty bad. Like you can you can see in all the vents, it's just they all look like this. It's just nasty. Nastier's frig. All the buttons and stuff have got crap in them. Um yeah, it's just like layer of filth. It's pretty gross. So what I want to do is, uh, for the air vents, I think I'm going to start with that. What I'm going to do is hook up the compressor and try to blow some compressed air into there and just see what happens. And if, uh, actually, if that thing is empty, I can use the, uh, the blower side of it, hook it up to the exhaust, and it'll actually force air out. So I might try to do that, blow out all the vents, and then clean everything down after because like if there is crap in the vents and I'm sure there is because last time I turned this on it was like a freaking chooch cloud of dust but um yeah I figure I should clean her up just make her decent to be in it's like that's pretty gross I'm gonna get just filthy riding around in this thing but uh, yeah, so instead of blabbing on, I'll just uh, I'll get to it. <laughs> you guys can tell how much I like this truck by how freaking into it I'm getting. I'm just freaking tearing everything apart. You guys should see all the grunge that's up in here. Like, look at this. This is just the first rag, and it's already dirtier as frig. And I, I only did the top of the dash and the friggin' uh, this. Yes. There's. It's like mud. <laughs> Pretty gross. Yeah, I'm keeping keeping going. So, like the vents, they don't actually look too bad. I might just give them a good wipe out and see if I can blast it out with the truck on. So, this uh, shit, guys. Oh, this thing's got to go. I need uh, to find something else because. Yeah, not uh, not into that. Need to find a decent uh, head unit. Well, oh, found another really nasty thing. So far, like all the freaking controls and stuff around the uh, the cluster are just disgusting. Like, this thing's got so much freaking grunge on it. It's I don't even know how to explain it. It's just nasty. So, remove it if I can. I don't want to screw with vacuum lines. But, uh, okay, well, I can't remove it, but I'll zoom in and show you guys. Like, that's gross. And on the top there, like, that is, that is just nasty. Freaking, give her a little wipe. Just, just so you guys can see. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, like this just caked on that. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, the whole truck is pretty much covered in that kind of stuff. So the screw's somewhere safe for now. Yeah, I feel like I should be wearing gloves because my fingers are freaking getting sticky. <laughs> it's just, they're like sticking together, it's just, yeah, I might put on some gloves. Anyways, I'll continue cleaning. Done a ton of friggin' cleaning. It's looking a lot better now. Give you guys a little bit of a show. So, I did not get inside the, uh, the cluster. But, uh, everything... The friggin' vents, they're all cleaned out. That was a friggin' pain in the butt. These vents pop out and then you can take them in half. Um, this outer shell separates from the fins there it's I should have shown you guys when I had it apart but uh, you know I still have two two more to do so 
Uh, I could show you guys on that one, but uh, I think what I'm going to need to do is actually take these vents, take them all out again, and that blue glove really makes everything dark around it. So, anyways, um, <laughs> I'll probably have to take these out, take them apart, and soak them in, like, water and cleaner or something. And, um, yeah, I had the Cummins going, I had her running, because it's getting a little bit nippy out here, so... I had it just about up to temperature, and then uh, I friggin' I was using that little guy down there to uh, hold the RPMs at 1500. I had it at that for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and then when I went back to idle, it uh, kind of sounded like I had a bit of a miss. Um, Start it up and see see if it might do it again, but it kind of alarmed me. I don't uh, want to have to deal with any kind of issues with this motor. Yeah, she's already warmed up, so that's why the freaking light turned off. Okay. I just let the clutch out. Maybe it's not doing it now. Maybe it's just that one time thing. In either case, that's good. And if you guys are wondering about the, the jumping tack, I've seen that on a lot of these trucks, so I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, oil pressure looks good. Friggin' uh, battery, it's. Uh, well, I'm wondering if maybe the charging system requires two batteries, because I don't know what the amperage rating on the alternator is, but um, I've only got the one battery in there, so that might be a little bit of an issue. It might need, might be like trying to overcharge the battery. But uh, you'll notice it keeps fluctuating. Uh, not, I don't think that's an issue. Uh, and then we got my gauges boost gauge. I have yet to make that one move, but uh, I haven't really driven it yet. And then uh, that guy, I think the hottest I've ever had it would be 500 so far. But again, I've not, uh, not really driven it. The farthest I've gone is just up the block and then back down to turn it around. But uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 420,352 kilometers on it. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a little break cleaning, go inside, and uh, I might actually grab these, these vents, if I can take them inside and get them soaking. It's a little bit too cold for a bucket of water out here, and it freeze. <laughs> so anyways, Cummins, love that kind. I love hearing the turbo wind down. Okay, so I got one of these vents out. I forgot how to show you guys how to take these out. Um, I take them out with the bezel off. Holy finger. Um, but you'll see they got little uh, clips there, and on the bezel piece they've got uh, a pin on either side, which these will snap into. They're just uh, springy clips. You'll see that they open up if I can. So. They'll snap into place like that, so to get them off, I like to go in behind them and just give them a light, uh, bit of light pressure. Voila! And then uh, to take them apart, uh, you could either jam something in those little dots, or what I've done is I just press down on this inner clip, this inner piece, and uh, separate it like that, and then you can soak each piece or get in the, the tight spots that you can't if it was together. So that's how to take one of these out and take one of them apart. Well I've discovered these vents are totally different for removing. They've got a centerpiece and a locking mechanism on them. 
So, oops, sorry, out of frame. So I'll get that guy out for you and uh, show you how I did it. I started off with a freaking screwdriver, just gently go in between it, move it to one side, pop it out, and then pull the opposite way and it should pop right out. So no damage to the dash and uh, yeah, vents out. So friggin' right, so give those guys a wipe while I've got this out. So check these guys inside and get them cleaned up. Well, they got all the dash, uh, the vent pieces soaking in a bucket of, well, it's still hot. That's amazing. It's been in here for like an hour. But um, yeah, let's do some soap, some just standard dish soap in here and uh, sloshed it around and got a whole bunch of crap out of it. There's a little bit of debris left in the tub. But um, yeah, rinsed them off and then uh, threw another half a bucket full of hot water in there just to try to loosen everything else up. And Butterfingers. <laughs> I almost dropped it again. That's looking so much better. Like, yeah, I think that might have done it. Doesn't look like there's any crap in any of the cracks or crevices. Uh, no, there's still a little bit, like, on that ridge there, so. I'll let them soak a little bit more, throw some more soap in there and slosh it around, but uh, yeah, it's actually not that easy to clean, not as easy as I thought it would be, so I just keep doing this and um, it's like, oh, past 6 o'clock now, so it's way too dark to do anything, so um, I didn't get around to doing the HVAC system, the, the heating system, the ducts and stuff, I'll do that maybe tomorrow. Um, what I think I might try to do is snake the vacuum down into the ducts because there's crap blowing around when I uh, turn the heater on so anyways I just wanted to uh, wrap this video up so um, thanks for watching guys and until next time take care